Hey everybody, how is it going? It is yours truly. Now we're going to be talking about generic USB controllers for emulation, specifically for Project 64. I've been getting a lot of comments and questions and, and emails and whatnot about setting up a controller for it. Guys, I'm going to be upfront with you. It's really difficult to troubleshoot a lot of the issues because uh, I don't know what operating system you're using. I don't know what controller you're using. Everything, it, it, it's really, your your problem may very well be hardware dependent, not software dependent. Uh, and if it is software dependent, uh, I, I'm going to need a, a little bit more information to, to help you out. But even then, it's really difficult for me to help you guys out. So let me just do this video really quickly and hopefully give you uh, some pointers, some information. So first off, uh, I had some videos from a while ago about Project 64, um, about setting up emulation, uh, you know, to, to set, setting up your emulator to game online. Totally disregard that. Please disregard that. You don't need any of that stuff to game online. I use this program called Parsec now, which is like Discord, but for cloud gaming, it's awesome. But anyways, talking about generic USB controllers. So one of the first things you want to do is use a controller like this. It's a USB generic controller. It's really awesome. It's plug and play. So right now I am going to be plugging in this specific controller uh, right now. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and download Project 64 if you don't already have it. And uh, I have it open right here. So before you get started, you're going to go ahead and configure your controller plugins. Oops, I mean, I lied. You're going to go ahead and go to settings, check out plugins, input uh, controller plugins. So input means like what what is, what is the device you're going to be using to uh, control the game that you're going to be emulating. So you're going to get two options. You're going to get NRAGE for PJ64 or NRAGE's direct input 1.61. So these are the only two you should see. This AQZ Netplay plugin, totally disregard this. You should not see this if you have a clean install of Project 64. I mean that. Um, so this is what I generally use. It's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. Hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Options. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to Control, Configure, Plugin. You do not have to do this every single time you fire up your emulator. Uh, you really just got to do it once. Um, but even then, if you go to Assign Keys, so... Let's go ahead and use controller one. I'm going to load profile. All right. So this should be my, I'm going to use the analog stick. All right. This seems to be uh, configured properly. So this is how you would set up your controller guys. So the D-pad, um, I'm going to go throw, throw up an image of what the D-pad looks like. So right here, I'm just uh, left clicking it and then I'm going to hit up on my D-pad. Oops. I'm going to hit up on my D-pad. I'm going to hit left on my D-pad, then right on my D-pad, then down on my D-pad. So I'm going to do this with all the buttons. So the D-pads, the analog stick, which is uh, this guy right here. I'm going to go ahead and put a put a mark where that, that what the analog stick is or the joystick, the C buttons. And then of course, just the regular buttons, the A, B, left trigger, right trigger, and then the Z button, which is uh, on the other side of the controller. Uh, so once you go ahead and you map your uh, settings, you're going to go ahead and click apply. However, uh, you can also save your profile and name it to whatever you'd like. So this will be like, you know, the bad dudes, um, uh, N64 controller. And then maybe a friend comes over and they're using their different uh, USB controller. And maybe it's not the exact brand. So you would want to go ahead and uh, save a profile for that specific user and for their specific product. Uh, you can absolutely do that. And you only have to do this once. You don't have to do this every single time. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, however, I want to leave you guys with something. I want to show you something really interesting. If you're having a hard time with your controller... If it's not functioning properly, there's something. There's one thing you can do. So I'm going to go ahead to control panel, hardware and sound, devices and printers, so generic USB uh, joystick. So that's what we're using to, em uh, to play my, my, my N64 game. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to go to game controller settings. I'm going to go to properties. Now, uh, I'm, right now I'm using the joystick. And it seems to be working pretty well. It's calibrated properly, just out of the box, guys, out of the box. Now I'm pressing the, the C buttons, 
and then all the other little random buttons and then uh, here's the d-pad okay what we, we can do is we can calibrate it we can calibrate it if you want but my controller is calibrated already just follow the steps it's really easy and your controller should be working properly if you're having a configuration or, or an input issue um, so yeah that's really all I wanted to show you guys hopefully all this information was helpful um, it was straightforward and if you got any questions, please let me know. But, like, it's really difficult to troubleshoot a lot of these problems. Uh, but one of the big things is that uh, if we go to settings, plugins, if you're having an issue with your controller and it's not working with, let's say, uh, Enrage's direct input uh, 8, 1.61, use Enrage for Project 64, 2.5.2.202. Just change it up, guys. Change it up. You know, I can't, I can't fucking hold everybody's hands. As much as I'd love to help, it's difficult. All right, guys, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. Peace out.